My name is Charlotte and I work in the Historic Clothing Department at the New Canaan Museum and Historical Society in Connecticut. This is a blue dress in our collection from the 1860s. It was donated to our museum in 1977 by a local couple who originally acquired the dress from a home nearby. So it might have been worn by someone in the area, but unfortunately our records end there. However, we are delighted to have such a vibrant dress from the time period and in such good condition as well. The fashion of this decade was characterized by enormous bell-shaped skirts, which were made possible through the use of crinolines and hoops. Just as a side note, ours is not an 1860 hoop, so please ignore we're a small museum, so we're just using what we have. An 1860 hoop would be a little bit more elongated in the back. According to my research, the crinoline was often predicted to go out of fashion, but it was actually kept in fashion by Empress Eugenie of France, who continued to wear it, setting the standard for women everywhere. And also people thought it made women look more graceful. The large sleeves are called bishop sleeves. They are very full and taper at the wrist. Our dress features gold and blue fringe at the wrist too, which is a fun element you can see up close in the final photo. The sleeves are just really beautiful. The dress would have been worn during the day because evening gowns had off the shoulder necklines and short sleeves. And due to the bright colors, it's my guess that the dress is made with aniline dyes, which were a new technological advancement at this time. As far as I know, they are not toxic like the famous arsenic green dye, but I'm always doing more research. Here is the close-up video. It shows how beautiful the stripes are and the sleeve. The back has a ton of tiny pleats near the waist, all hand done. Sorry, the skirt and jacket don't match up here. We had to lengthen the torso of the mannequin to get rid of wrinkles when photographing the back. And here is some hand stitching on the inside of the jacket as well. And of course, the final photos that we can use for our social media, database, and newsletter. I think they turned out beautifully and the dress is very vibrant, so thanks for watching!